Have you ever heard of jacuzzi for huge elephants? Have you heard of acupressure being done on elephants? Have you heard of Ayurvedic treatments being given to elephants who are in the last stages of their life? Well, this is what happens in the elephant camp right here in Jamnagar where there are about more than 200 elephants who are rehabilitated, who have been rescued from across the country. Let's see what else is in for these elephants who have been rescued and rehabilitated right here at the elephant camp. Face packs of Multani Mitti, well that's something that many Indians have actually used. But right here, there are mounds of Multani Mitti, the particular soil from Multan, that is kept here in a lot of these locations where you can see elephants really enjoying themselves, you know, spraying themselves with this particular soil, almost appearing as golden uh, as, as any elephant can look in, uh, all bathed in Multani Mitti. But certainly, it does seem like, you know, there are various such locations uh, where across 400 kilo, uh, acres of this land that that uh, mounds of uh, Multani Mitti have been placed strategically so that uh, uh, these elephants can really enjoy themselves uh, uh, while playing in this particular uh, soil and uh, looking just as beautiful and happy as ever. If we talk about the food that is given uh, to uh, all these elephants, you can see uh, there's green grass as well as jawar grass that is served uh, right here while they are having their sun bath. Apart from that, there's a uh, kitchen where kilos, around 500 kgs of uh, khichdi is uh, lentil, uh, you know, uh, is made and it is actually given along with a lot of other things like popcorn. Apart from that, there are, uh, you know, laddus of various uh, nutrition uh, related, uh, you know, uh, food, nutritious food that is given uh, in which also because most of these elephants have reached their, uh, uh, they are quite advanced in their uh, ages, approximately 80 is what we have gotten to know is is the age of many of the elephants here so they need a lot of medication and so for that approximately to each uh, elephant there are medicines that are stuffed into these uh, laddus that are served to these elephants which they promptly eat without really knowing that there's a medicine in it uh, but certainly because those laddus are extremely tasty these uh, elephants do have it and then that's how these elephants are taken care of through nutrition we are right now in the kitchen where food is made for elephants. Uh, as you can see, there are laddus and everything uh, from khichdi. There's this khichdi section right here. Uh, apart from that, popcorn is being made. Uh, I'm joined by Dr. P uh, Pedro Wolf, who is from Germany, and who is you are you are here for the last one year. Yes, I'm here now for one year. How is it being here? It's great. It's absolutely great. I enjoy the time here. Uh, the facility are perfect. Uh, you know, uh, what is it that uh, you know? When, uh, you know, you, we see that there's a lot of food that is made here, right? Where is all this procured from? The material. So, um, the base, uh, the diet uh, based mainly on green, and we have three thousand farmer who produce the green. Um, an elephant eat between 150 and 200 kg of green each day. That's a huge amount. And then we have also the kitchedi. Um, I'm from Germany, but I realize you have so proper menus here in India, and we use snow also for the elephants. The kitchedi is rich in protein. If you have an old elephant, it's like in old women, they lost a little bit of more body mass. So. Then we give the kitchen. Then we have the ragilado. The ragilado is mainly for the energy. This, this is the ragilado. Yeah, this is the ragilado. I showed you. This is produced for the human. When you turn around, the elephant would smile about such a small ragilado. Therefore, we have the bigger ones. And this is mainly energy for them. It is produced uh, out of ghee, of jaggery and ragi flour. We avoid to use sugar in our diets. So before, for example, we, um, the elephant has biscuits, biscuits are rich in sugar. So we decided to produce popcorn. Sounds a little bit funny, but when you realize it's only one corn for 4,000 kg elephant. So that's nothing. That's really, up to, uh, when is this fed and how much, you know, like it, elephants eat a lot, right? Yeah. So how much do you really make? You know, what's the quantity that's everyday made here? Oh, we have uh, on daily basis here for around 400 ragilado. We produce 600 to 800 kg of kitchen. You see our pots are a little bit bigger than at home. 
Then we get one tons of uh, fruits, vegetables uh, per day on daily basis. Um, then we produce f juice for the elephants. Some of them are not drinking properly, so we offer juice. We ju um, prepare 300 to 400 liter juice on daily basis. Uh, we, apart from this, medicines is also given with these lettuce. Of course, uh, the elephants like to go uh, to eat the ragilado, and some of them deny to go on the morning walk before they get not the ragilado. And from time to time, we have to make a medical treatment. And when you come from the doctor, you know the medicine is not tasty. So uh, we don't avoid. We want to not fix the elephants. Uh, so we make a hole in the ragilado. We put the medicine in. And the elephant uh, did not realize that it's uh, in. And they enjoy to take the ragilado. How much does a nutrition really play a part in, in the age? Uh, that Because most of the elephants here are quite old, you know, almost at the fag end of their life. So uh, how much does nutrition, good nutrition, uh, you know, help in their life? Look, I'm a nutritionist since for nearly 40 years, and I believe in nutrition. Nutrition is the most uh, important part of the well-being of an animal. Also the housing condition, the enrichment, and so on. But we say always, a healthy meal, healthy body. So therefore, we need it. And when you look outside, we have a herbal garden, for example, and herbs belongs also to the nutrition. And you have so wonderful, so uh, perfect uh, composed herbs here in India. So we use it now also. This is all organically grown food that is procured. This is all, all of this is organic produce. You see it, we produce it by ourselves outside, then we know what happened with it. And in the meantime, we have also one room for masala preparation. The mahouts are coming to the kitchen, and for me it's very important that we have a connection, good connection with the mahouts. So the mahouts are coming to the kitchen, produce a um, masala, and in the winter time we have also... What, what masala is it? Uh, it's different masala, and some of them are not speaking about it because it's a special recipe. Um, Especially for the elephants, the masala for the Yes, it is a masala for the elephants. In the winter time, we have also masala ladu. Okay, masala ladu. Yes. That's something really unheard of. Thank you so much. So, certainly, uh, organically grown food, uh, food that is really made with a lot of love and affection for these elephants is right here and apart from this you know because it's just an elephant camp right here but then uh, apart from the elephant camp there are other facilities for uh, you know bigger cats like there are tigers here there are lions here so for all those animals also there's another kitchen. So there's a section for vegetarian food for animals like the elephant. Then there is another section of non-vegetarian food for animals like the big cats that are in another facility right here in the green belt of the Reliance industry.